Brand new comic book day, March 4th, 2020. Today there was quite a bit of, of new number one first run comics that came out. There was a lot of new stories that started today. But before we get started, I always like to talk about a comic that's in my personal collection. So what we have for you today that I'm going to show is Avengers number, let me get this right, 257. This is the first appearance of Nebula in the comics. So I actually just recently actually picked this up for like $21 off of eBay. And this is honestly a very high grade copy, probably a 9496. This is the new stand edition with the barcode. And uh, for the price I paid this, I paid for this. If this, if this thing gets pressed, this should be easy at 9.6. There's just one small little color breaking right here by like a small tick that is in the spine of the comic. But beyond that, super high grade. Happy to have it. The very first appearance of Nebula in the comics. Also, before I get started, you're going to see a whole bunch of boxes in the background here. I have a stack here of boxes. There's like 50 here so far. So actually... Uh, Earlier this week, I, I did a mystery box run. It was a pretty high point, high price point mystery box run. It was $265 a box. Sold out in 56 seconds, all 20 boxes. They sold out under a minute. I was shocked. So I'm doing a much cheaper mystery box run. I'm actually getting ready for it right now. I had the first 50 pops all boxed up and ready to go. I'm going to probably do at least 100 boxes like this. This is going to be a much cheaper price point. I'm leaning towards about $11 to $12 a box plus like foreign shipping. So it could be around $15 to $16 a box shipped. And these will contain common pops that are worth, you know, $8, $10, $12 dollars. You also have a chance at chase variations. You got a chance at store exclusives. There's going to be some vaulted pops in here. I'm going to throw in probably a couple of grails, probably in like, in like the $100 price range or so, maybe a little bit higher than that. But I'm thinking probably about a 100 box run. I might go higher than that. I might keep it at 100. I'll figure it out as time goes on. But right now, I've got half of them boxed up. 50 are ready to go. They won't go on sale yet until they're all boxed up because I always box everything up before I ever sell it. And whenever you purchase the box, it is all sent out at random. Like right now, I don't know if this box has a chase in it that's worth 30 bucks or if this box just has a, you know, $10 common pop. I honestly, I don't know. I just box them up, stack them up. So keep a lookout for this on my website, www.franchisekicks.com. The next Funko Pop mystery box run hopefully will go on sale late this week or this weekend. So be look out for that if you want inexpensive mystery boxes with a chance at higher value pops, but that's all up to you. So now back to the actual video. So we've shown you a comic from my collection, and now we're gonna talk about what I picked up today at two of my local comic book shops. The first shop I went to is a shop that you've heard me talk about now several times on this channel. One of my favorite shops that I go to, if not my favorite, is the Comic Carnival in Indianapolis, Indiana. And there, um, I had to pick up a few extras this this week. I had to also pick up some new or some more comic bags, and I picked up some more. I think pick it up some more comic boards, because uh, when you're buying a lot of comics, you go through bag and boards like you go through glasses of water. <laughs> they go pretty quickly. So at Comic Carnival, I was my main goal was to get the new Batman number 90, which is the first full appearance of the designer. And I was hoping for the new Miss Marvel number 13. And I didn't get the Batman. They were already gone. Um, they had, I think every copy was on people's pull lists. I think they I think they said they had two copies left. I actually got to like five minutes after they opened up. So that's my fault if I would have been first in line, if I would have got there like 30 minutes earlier, I, I would have gotten a copy of Batman, but I just couldn't get myself going this morning, so I missed out. That's okay. So at Comic Carnival, I spent a total of $63.06. So Comic Carnival, make sure you check them out on 7225 North Keystone Avenue 
Indianapolis, Indiana, like across from the Walmart. Very cool shop, a lot of, lot of good comics there. So let's talk about what I got this week, why I picked it up. Some I picked up for speculation purposes, some I picked up because I collect that one, and others I picked up just because the cover was cool. So first one I picked up at the Comic Carnival is The Magnificent Miss Marvel number 13. This one is the first appearance of Amulet which is a magical Arab American superhero. They had a limit of one copy per customer, which I expected because right now the comic book hype is insane right now. A lot of the good first appearances, most shops around the country are limiting it to one per person, you know, to be fair so everybody can get a copy. So I was very happy to get my one copy. There were still probably two or three left there, maybe more, five, between three and five left, I'd say. So there are still some available, but as of right now, there's a good chance they're probably gone now. So if you are local to the store, they're probably gone. No guarantee, there might be some left still. Next one I picked up at Comic Carnival was called Billionaire Island. This honestly was not on my list to pick up. I wasn't even knowing this was coming out because I kind of keep a list ahead of time of what I want to pick up. Certain copies I'll try to get at Comic Carnival. Other copies I'll try to get at Circle City Comics. I try to get most of my just common covers at Circle City Comics because they offer 20% off the first day. Uh, Comic Carnival, I like going there to get a lot of my variants, uh, a lot of my hard to get comics, and some like this that they have that I didn't know existed. And Billionaire Island, it's made by Ahoy Comics. It says, from the writer of The Second Coming, um, looks like a billionaire island. I don't know anything about it. I, I can't even like, front and talk like I know about this, but I just got it because this is the number one in a brand new comic series. And with a name like Billionaire Island, that kind of sounds like a future Netflix show, you know? An island full of billionaires that probably get into trouble or something. This sounds It sounds like a Netflix show. So for cover price of like, what, four bucks, I think? I picked it up. Why not? Next comic out at Comic Comic Carnival, Strange Academy. This one is actually okay. I was wanting the Batman ninety, the new Miss Marvel, and the Strange Academy number one. This one had a crazy amount of first appearances in it. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Right now, most people are speculating on Batman number ninety um, because the first full appearance of Designer. Do not forget about Strange Academy number one. This has the first appearance of Emily Bright, Doyle Dormanu, Shale uh, Moonpetal, and Zoe Lavu. I applied butcher those names. This had four first appearances in one comic. And they had a total of one cover there I picked up, a second cover I picked up, a third cover I picked up, but I was very happy they actually had the rare 1 in 25 Humberto. Um, Ramos variant of the Strange Academy. I was very happy about this. They had this one marked at 12 bucks. I'm sure 12 bucks is probably about the going rate for it. Probably 12, 15 dollars shipped at best. Probably going rate and condition on the variant, the one of 25, 96, 98 condition. So, as a collector and a speculator, I'm letting people know right now if you're wanting to invest in a book. Right now, that has not sold out probably any place, check out Strange Academy number one. You got four first appearances in one comic. And there's a total of this comic, I think like four or five different covers. So you can just pick and choose which cover that you want. There are some harder to get covers, the one in 25 and the one in 50. So you know what? For four bucks a comic, or five bucks a comic, it's not a bad investment to pick up one of these, trust me. The last one I picked up there was Join the Future, number one, a brand new series. And this is the one in 10 variant, if I remember correctly. I plan to pick up just the common cover, but I'll do that at my next comic book shop because their uh, cover price the first day is cheaper. So, But this one had the one in 10 variant, and this comic says it is based in the future. Mega cities take care of the residents, each and every need, but there are those on the rural outskirts who prefer the traditional ways and will defend their independence as the city threatens to absorb them. So, sounds like a kind of an interesting plot to the comic. And uh, number one, maybe 
option to Netflix someday? YouTube TV? You never know. I picked it up. Variant cover. Very happy. So that's all I got at Comic Carnival. Those comics, new bags and boards. So next, I'm going to head over to uh, Circle City Comics, which is located on the corner of Michigan and 86th Street on the north side of Indianapolis. I'm going to go there and get a bunch of my just easy-to-get common covers. So the bag there, pretty good size bag. Pretty good size bag. So the first spot, I spent 63 bucks at the Comic Carnival. And this one, I spent a little bit more. I spent, where's my receipt? I spent a total of $85.90, but I picked up a pretty decent stack there. But before I start, I couldn't believe it. Comic Carnival was already sold out. Most comic book shops across the country pre-sold out on pull list all of Batman 90. I walk in to Soros City Comics. They were, they, they had been open for like two and a half hours. Batman number 90, the comic cover and the variant cover on the shelf. I could not believe it. They had a limit of one cover per person. They said they had about four or five covers left of each. And I I blew my mind that these were still available on the shelf there. I could not believe it. Today I went by myself because my wife had some uh, prior appointments to take care of. I wish she would have been there with me because uh, she could have also have gotten a cover of each. I couldn't believe it. So if you're near Indianapolis, if you're looking for Batman number 90 for the first appearance, the first full appearance of the new character, the designer, they had some copies left a few hours ago. Is there any left now? Honestly, probably not. But it won't hurt to check because almost two and a half hours after they opened up, there were still covers left at retail price. So these, with the 20% off, these were only $4.00. And these are selling for upwards of 30 bucks on eBay right now. So I got these two for $10 combined, or actually $8 combined, and they're already worth 60. So I was extremely lucky. I, I couldn't believe it that they still had these left. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I was a total shock. And uh, yeah, so I was super excited about that. That I was able to pick these up for 20% under the cover price the first day, not sold out. So this is a good speculation book. If you can find it, most shops, you know what, they're gonna be sold out now. Most of these went to people's poll lists. So it's, it's gonna be a hard one to find. But while I was also there, I was looking in their case of like older comics, ones that they buy collections of or people trade comics in for other things. They had this in the case. This is bang number one. This is the ash can version. This came out like the mass produced one a couple weeks ago. And those covers are already going for like $10, $15 a piece. The variant's like $10, $15. This was the preview, the free one that comic book shops got several months ago. And I don't remember seeing this in my shops around here. I just might have missed it. I just didn't pick up a free one. Always pick up your free comics. If there's an ash can, pick it up. Okay, that will go into this one. On, on the counter, they had free copies at Circle City Comics of Sleeping Beauties, the I. D.W. Ashcan for free. This is a book written by Stephen King and Owen King. Uh, Ryo Ewers, Allison Sampson, and Triana Farrell. So this was called Sleeping Beauties. Totally free. This is like a preview comic, okay? This is a preview comic, and I got this for 15 bucks. And this sells online for like 15, 20 bucks all day long. So always pick up at your comic shops any Ashcan, any preview comics that they have because... They can actually go up in value over time, which is kind of crazy, right? I was happy with that purchase to get the ash can of bang number one. That's already been optioned for TV. That's all, it's already going to be made into like a TV series. So ash can, I got it. Very happy. Next, I got a number one comic. It is called Outer Darkness Chew. I know Tim over at Comic Carnival, who he was telling me about this comic there. And while I was there, I passed on it. I just wasn't really too sure about it. But uh, I saw it at Circle City Comics. They had, the for the first day, all new comics were 20% off. So, I mean, I got this thing for $3.20. So, just because it was so cheap, I went ahead and I picked it up. Uh, don't know much about this comic. The cover's interesting. And uh, it's a number one. So, I picked it up. Is that a good speculation book? Honestly, I don't know. But this next one, though. No. This next one was not on my radar at all. 
I don't remember if I saw this at uh, Comic Carnival or not, but I was at Circle City Comics and I saw this comic on the top shelf. And I was like, that looks like that Greta Thun... What's her name? Thunberg? Greta Thunberg, the uh, climate activist uh, who goes around the world and, you know, talks to politicians. That looks like the Greta, the young girl Greta. But it's not her, though. And, you know, it's not actually her, so I don't have to pay her. But it looked like Greta. And this is called a Man-Eater Special Edition, Tomorrow Belongs to You, by Image Comics. And I'm a huge fan of Image. They do a lot of good work. And something like this, Greta right now is very popular within the climate activist movement. And I don't know if anybody's actually knowing this is out there, but something that pretty much it looks like Greta, this is something that could take off in value. I don't know for sure. It might have been a total waste of money, but... Greta right now is very popular amongst a group of people in the world. But next though, next one is a farmhand number 14. Okay, this has no value to it. No by itself, no future value. I'm just collecting the entire series of farmhand because this comic has already been optioned by AMC for a TV show. So AMC is trying to find the next Walking Dead and they've optioned farmhand. They optioned it like a few comics in and got optioned. So I'm collecting the entire series of Farmhand. So whenever it finally gets made into the TV show, let's say it becomes as popular as The Walking Dead, then I would have the entire run of Farmhand from issue one all the way through the very end. So I'm collecting this just to have the entire series because I wish I could, I could go back in time and do The Walking Dead like that. Start number one, just go all the way through, what was it? 193 was the final one I think it was. I wish I could do that, but obviously I can't. So I'm doing this with, with, with Farmhand. I'm also buying copies of the number one, graded 9.8, if I can get them for a good price for about $70 shipped. I've purchased quite a few so far. I'm actually speculating pretty hard on this Farmhand, farmhand series. Speculating pretty hard on it. But Next, I got a comic called The Argus. First issue. And I don't really have a lot of information about this. This has to do with law enforcement agency that polices the time-space continuum. So I was like, you know what? Give me 121 gigawatts and, uh, or no, 1.21 1, 1 gigawatts. 1.20, yeah. Gigawatts and let me get a cover of it. It's the first issue. The cover, the front of it, I don't like. I think it's a very uh, dull cover. It's made by Ac Action Lab Danger Zone Comics. So I just bought this because I collect number ones when it comes to comic runs. I collect them. Should I have bought that one? Probably not, but I collect number ones. Next one though, remember from Comic Carnival, I got the variant cover this, the one in 10 variant. So I picked up the common one at the other place because I was planning on getting the common cover no matter what, but Comic Carnival had the variant cover. So I jumped on that in a heartbeat, but there is just the common cover for Join the future. Next one, I don't remember seeing this one at Comic Carnival, and I didn't, I wasn't speculating on this book whatsoever. I didn't know that it existed, but I saw it at Circle City Comics, Realm of the Dead, Carson of Venus, made by American Mythology Productions, issue number one of three. So I saw it there. It has like maybe zombies in this comic, and I'm a huge fan of the zombie genre. So I went ahead, I took a stab at this one. I got it for 20% off the first day. So I got it for, what, $3.20? Will this become anything? Probably not. But uh, it's a number one and possible zombies in it. So I picked it up. Some of these, honestly, after I walk out of the store, I think I probably shouldn't have bought that number one. Just because I collect number ones doesn't mean I had to buy every single number one. This week, I actually didn't. I did leave some of the number ones behind. I didn't buy them. But sometimes I need to actually not buy every number one of a new comic because most of these won't pan out to be anything. But I'm just banking on I pick up the next issue or the first comic of The Witcher or The Walking Dead. You know, that's kind of like what... I'm hoping for. But anyway, while I was there, I picked up this one. This is another one from that company, Action Lab Danger Zone. This is called Twin Worlds. It kind of had a cool looking cover. It looks kind of kind of graphic on the cover. 
you have a creature down here that's in like a robot suit shooting this person right here and it looks like it might have been a fatal head wound so it had an interesting cover to it, kind of a pretty graphic cover so uh it's it's a number one so i picked it up next one i was actually going to purchase uh, no matter what just because this is a brand new series called king of nowhere this guy drops into a village of mutated citizens so it's a number one brand new series king of nowhere there were several different covers this was one of the variant covers i picked it up just purely speculating on this book because it's a number one and it has to do with mutants mutants x-men of course it's not x-men but x-men is very popular and maybe these mutants might have some mutant power to them or something you never know and then while I was there, they had the Magnificent Miss Marvel number 13, which is the first appearance of Amulet. They also had one per person at Circle City Comics. Comic Carnival had one per person, so I got one there. Circle City Comics had one per person there. I got one there. They only had, I think, three left there whenever I, I got there. So whenever I left, there was only two left on the shelf. Happy, though, I got two covers of it. I was hoping to actually get more than that, but places put one per person. So you gotta respect that and just grab your one comic per person. Now I was also at Circle City Comics. They had the Rise of Kylo Ren number one, a third printing of it. So I saw this at Comic Carnival, but I didn't pick it up because I've already got a first printing and a second printing. And uh, I didn't really want to spend $5 on a third printing. So I'm like, I've already got two printings of it. Circle City Comics had this 20% off the first day. So I got this for only $4. And uh, I actually, honestly, out of the common covers of first, second, third print, this is actually, I think, the coolest cover with the black and white background with pretty much just the saber that's glowing, you know, on the cover. So actually, I like this cover the most out of all three printings. I went ahead and picked it up. Should I have got a third printing of it? Probably not. But I'm collecting this entire series of Kylo Ren, so I'm going to probably pick up all of the printings of all the covers. Then also while I was at Circle City Comics, I picked up three more copies of Strange Academy. Um, Comic Carnival, they had no limit on how many covers you could buy. And like, like you could have cleaned them out if you wanted to. I mean, you, you, they probably wouldn't let you. I mean, most shops won't. But I mean, if you want to get two or three covers of just this one, you probably could have. But uh, Circle City Comics, they had a limit of one cover per person. And so... While I was there, I was like, you know what, I, at Comic Carnival, I think I bought, what, four of these different covers? I was like, you know what, I wanted to speculate on this book pretty heavy, just because it has four first appearances of new characters. So while I was at Circle City Comics, I got one cover of each variant that they had for 20% uh, off the cover price. So now I've got seven copies of Strange Academy number one. Seven copies. So uh, I can say... I'm speculating on this book pretty heavy. I was thinking I'd probably get maybe four or five copies, but no, today I ended up getting seven copies of it. But I got the one in 25, like hard to find cover at Comic Carnival, so I'm happy about that one the most, though. The last comic I got, I actually passed on this one at, at Comic Carnival. Um, then I picked it up at Circle City Comics, and now I'm looking at it. I should have put it back. I don't know why I really bought this. Because I looked this thing up when I got home. Because I was like, man, why, why did I buy this? This wasn't on my list to pick up. But sometimes whenever you're at a new, at a comic book shop and it's new comic book day, you get that little itch and you were like, you know what? I should probably just pick it up. Yeah, let's, let's just pick it up. But all this one is, it's a 12-issue series featuring Adam Strange that reunites the creative team of Tom King and Mitch Gerards. That's it. So I bought the comic cover and the variant cover of Strange Adventures number one. And I got home and I was like, I shouldn't have bought these. Why Why did I buy these? I picked them up because I think I remembered I passed on these at Comic Carnival. And I was at Circle City Comics. I just picked them up and I should have put them back, but I didn't. So I regret buying these actually. This I shouldn't have bought. But... That's, that's the comic collecting game. Sometimes you end up buying too much. Like today, I think I bought too much, actually. Uh, I think I actually bought too many comics that were the number one first run of the comic. I think I, think I bought too many. 
quite a few of those. I think I'm just going to tank in value. Be probably probably put into dollar boxes here within probably just a couple months. And uh, so I think today I actually bought a little heavy on ones I shouldn't have. But whenever it's new comic book day, you see all the new comics, you get excited about them. You want this, 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 and this. So you pick up this, 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 and this. And then you get home and you're like, man, why did I buy that one? But anyway, I'm happy though with what I got. I'm very, I'm ecstatic though. I was able to get copies of uh, Miss Marvel number 13 at both places. I was able to get a bunch of the Strange Academy. I was able to get Batman number 90 for retail. So this was a successful day, I think. Very happy. So I will see you next week with another new comic book pickup day. I'm out. <laughs>